Hello, it's Mr. Omar here. I actually want to introduce you to some new terms, but I'm going to use uh, a couple of websites that are really good and I'd be crazy to invent resources when there are ones this good around. So, you know, full credit to these people. They've got great resources. You should use them. The first place we're going to look at is maths is, or math is fun. So it's obviously, actually, beg your pardon, it's maths is fun. And for some reason in the logo, it says math is fun. There you go. Maybe it's Australian. Can't really tell. Anywho, complementary angles. Complementary angles are just two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So they make a right angle. And as you can see here on this diagram, you've got 40 degrees and then you've got 50 degrees and together they're complementary. So you're just adding them up and seeing if they make 90. So here's a couple of angles. I love these little things that they have where you can, where you can play with the angles. So 64 degrees plus 26. These two add up to 90, they are complementary. So if I make this one bigger, look, the other one gets smaller. And I can keep going, keep going, keep going until it gets into like 10 degrees. So I've got 10 and 80. I could go 45 and 45. I've got 50 and 40. All it's really asking you for is complementary equals 90. So if you can get them to add up to 90. Now these angles might be next to each other. They might be wedged into a, um, into a right angle like we have up here in this example. And they might not. They might be completely separate. They don't have to be together, but sometimes they will be. So that's complementary. And it is complement, which means um, to, to fill up something rather than complement, which is to say something nice. So it's not, a, it's not an angle that's being nice about something. It's, it's complementing it. It's, together they make up something. So that is complementary. Our next term is supplementary. Now, supplement annoyingly means similar to complement. Um, so if you're supplementing something, you're making up some more of it. In this one, the angles make up a straight angle or 180 degrees. So as you see here, if you've got 40, its supplementary angle is 140 degrees. Again, they don't have to be together, but they might be sometimes. And again, these things I absolutely love, where you are playing with them. So here we go. I'm going to straighten this one out. There we go. I've gone 175, so its supplementary angle is down to 5 or 4 degrees now. Then I can close it up. In fact, I'm going to 290s. There you go, 290s. They're supplementary because they take me to 180. So I close one, the other opens. There you go. The one I'm playing with is very acute, and CBA there is um, obtuse. I was going to say it's being obtuse, but it is obtuse. So, complementary adds up to 90, supplementary adds up to 180. Now, adjacent is a bit trickier. Adjacent does actually have to be next to each other, and it says they have a common side. So what they mean is they share this line in common, CB, so they do have to be next to each other, and they have a common Ver, um, vertex. So they actually have the angle is measured in this same space here where B is. So these two obviously are because they share this line in the middle. I'm, I'm working with this example on the right if you can't see my cursor. These are not because they don't share that line in common and these do not share the same little bit the vertex where we measure the angle. Uh, and they don't overlap. They've actually got to be separate ones. So that's a little bit harder what an adjacent angle is, but thanks to the Maths is Fun people, we now know how that works. Sadly, they don't have a little thing for me to, to play with there, but you know what? You take what you can get. Next is a vertical angle. I think a vertical angle should be called an opposite angle, although that would probably just con confound people anyway. It's basically saying where you've got lines crossing, in the case where you have... Um, an angle on the opposite side of those lines and it's the same angle, then they are vertical. So if you look down, oh good, we have one of these things we can play with. So we got 124 opposite 124, 56 opposite 56. Now I'm going to start playing with them. And look, I keep getting vert um, vertical angles. 107, 73, 92, 88. So 
you know, sometimes they'll be nice and obvious out in the open like that, and sometimes they'll be kind of hidden by the people trying to make you work a bit harder. But vertical angles are just opposite. So let's pop over to another site that I'm semi-obsessed by and see if we can put these things to work. So, which angles, this is um, IXL.com, which is a site I find super useful. Um, so, which angles are vertical to 2? Now, that's 2 there. So, which ones are opposite? That's what vertical means. It's what's the same size but opposite, and it's 5. So, let's see whether I'm right or wrong. I submit, and I'm right. So, you know, there you go. Which angles are supplementary to CFD? Oh, CFD is a right angle and I'm looking for something which is supplementary so that'll take it up to 180 so that'll be DFE let's see I can't find a DFE maybe I'll find an EFD oh I can't how about CFA hmm there you go this is looking interesting so let's read the question again supplementary to CFD so to this one here, to C to F to D, which is a right angle, and I want something else that will make it add up to 180. A, F, B, no, that's too little. E, F, B, not too much. B, F, where's F, B, F, D, too much. A, F, C, ah, A, F, C will do it. That'll make it add up. That took me longer than it should have. So let's have a look. What is an angle that is supplementary to 5? Ah, there you go. So 5, I want to know what I can add to to make it up to a straight angle, which is a straight line. And I'm guessing, I'm not guessing, I'm hoping the answer is 1. Fantastic. So I'll just do another couple of these. Other than itself, which angle is congruent to number 10? So which angle is the same as number 10? Which is the same angle? Now, because I know about vertical angles, then I think that 12 is, because it's opposite in the intersection of lines, and I know that vertical angles equal each other. So let's see if I'm right. There you go, I was. I'm going to do two more. Which angles are vertical to FHD? Okay, let's have a look at FHD. FHD. Oh, so it's this little angle in the middle here. I hope you can see my cursor. I'm not sure if you can. So it's FHD, which angles are vertical to it? Well, GHC is. Now that isn't up there, so let's look for CHG, that is there. And let's see if there's any more. See, I just feel like that's the only one. Let's see. There you go. So, complementary adds up to 90. Supplementary adds up to 180. Adjacent, um, sitting next to it has to share the line, has to share the vertex where the angle is measured, and finally vert vertical, which is opposite and equal. So I hope that's useful to you.